What's going on you guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to turn your Python apps and games into executable files using the Py installer module. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna assume you have a project that uh, you're happy with the code on, you've got your graphical user interface to a place that you're ready to export, and you want to turn it into an executable file that you could send people to play. Um, and to do that, we're gonna use the Py installer module, and I'm gonna be using this doodle jump program that I made in a tutorial on the channel. So if you want a project, uh, you can go ahead and follow along with this one. I'll leave a card to it somewhere above this video. But let's assume you already have a project and you just want to export it. Um, that's great. So hopefully you're using a, a pretty solid IDE, but you can do this in um, any format you want. You can actually do it without an IDE. Um, but if you open up the terminal, and the reason I do it down here um, is because my IDE, which is PyCharm, is, is really useful. If you just hit terminal, it opens up um, what would be like a command prompt. So you can get to the same thing just by running a command prompt. And then you just need to make sure you enter the file path to your project. So in my case, it's PyCharm projects and then doodle jump. Um, but you need to have the install, uh, you need to have pi installer um, installed in your project. So you want to run pip pi installer just like that and let it run. It might take a minute. Um, oh, I missed the word install. Pip install pi installer. Um, and then it's going to run this and uh, it'll say requirement already satisfied if you actually already have this installed. If you don't, then it's going to go ahead and run it for you. The next thing to do once you have it installed, you go back to your terminal and all you do is you say pi installer and then as long as you're in the correct um, correct directory, which I am, it's this doodle jump directory, you do pi installer and then you just type in the name of the file it's looking for, main.py. And then the only other attachment you really have to add um, is dash dash one file like that. Um, and this should export it, but uh, one that's nice to have is also space dash dash and then um, windowed. And that's going to, if you do have an error, this is just going to keep it open um, and give you feedback about what error occurred. So just run that and it's going to go through and uh, it's going to zip some things up. It's going to compile some stuff. And then what you'll see. OK, so once you've run pi installer main.py one file windowed in your uh, terminal and um, I may have said earlier the console window, but it should be the terminal or command prompt. Um, but I'll zoom in on this just so you can see it a little better. It's pi installer main.py dash dash one file dash dash windowed. It's going to add a bunch of content to your uh, directory. But if you open this in the Explorer, there's actually only one file you need. And it's inside this dist folder. And it's going to have the same name. And if you didn't give your, uh, you can assign it another icon if you really want. But um, it's going to have the same name as the Python file. You just had it uh, convert to executable. And if you double click this, you're going to get an error um, unless you move it out of the uh, directory here. If you used any image or any text file or anything that's not directly stored in that game. So in, in this case, you can see um, the file doodle.png is not found in the working directory because we tell the program that it's going to be in the same folder. So we give it a, an address for everything. All you have to do is just copy it and put it basically right next to whatever .py file you um, converted it from. So then if you double click and run it, okay, it's gonna look just like, it's gonna basically look just like when you run it um, from the console window. But what's cool is as you can just send this executable file along with whatever images you use. So that's why you need to package um, everything like add in uh, images that are required for the game. You need to package those all into a folder to send like the whole thing as a playable game. Um, but that's how you create an executable and you could uh, put a link to that on like the desktop. So um, that's one, let me go ahead and run it. Um, that's one that I did earlier. I put a shortcut to the like Flappy Bird knockoff game that uh, we made also on the channel. Um, but so this is just an executable. I don't have to open up PyCharm and open my project every time. 
and that's it. That's the basics of how you convert any Python uh, program or app to an executable using the Py installer module. If you have any questions on what you saw in this video or want to see something specific in a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Good luck with your code, and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.